Grace Lee Boggs June 27, 1915, to October 5, 2015, was an American author, social activist, philosopher and feminist. She is known for her years of political collaboration with C. L. R. James and Raya Dunayevskaya in the 1940s and 1950s. In the 1960s she and James Boggs, her husband of some 40 years he died in 1993, took their own political direction. By 1998, she had written four books, including an autobiography. In 2011, still active at the age of 95, she wrote a fifth book, The Next American Revolution, Sustainable Activism for the 21st Century, with Scott Kurashij and published by the University of California Press. <laughs> Early life and education Boggs was born on June 27, 1915, in Providence, Rhode Island, above her father's restaurant. Her Chinese given name was Yu Ping, Yu Ping meaning Jade Peace. She was the daughter of Qin Li, 1870-1965, originally from Toishan in China, and Yin Lan, his second wife, who would become an early feminist role model for Boggs. Li's first wife was unable to give birth to sons and so he left her for a younger woman. Yin Lan was born into the Ng family who were so poor that her uncle sold Yin into slavery, but she escaped. That same uncle arranged the marriage of Boggs's parents. Her father migrated to the United States with his second wife, landing in Seattle, Washington, in 1911. On a scholarship, Boggs went on to study at Barnard College, where she was influenced by Kant and Hegel. She graduated in 1935 and in 1940 received her Ph.D. in philosophy from Bryn Mawr College, where she wrote her dissertation. Topic. Career Facing significant barriers in the academic world in the 1940s, she took a low-paying job at the University of Chicago Philosophy Library. As a result of their activism on tenants' rights, she joined the far-left Workers' Party, known for its third-camp position regarding the Soviet Union, which it saw as bureaucratic collectivist. At this point, she began the trajectory that she would follow for the rest of her life, a focus on struggles in the African American community. She met C. L. R. James during a speaking engagement in Chicago and moved to New York. She met many activists and cultural figures such as author Richard Wright and dancer Catherine Dunham. She also translated into English many of the essays in Karl Marx's Economic and Philosophical Manuscripts of 1844 for the first time. She soon joined the Johnson Forest tendency led by James, Raya Dunayevskaya and Lee. They focused more centrally on marginalized groups such as women, people of color and youth as well as breaking with the notion of the Vanguard Party. While originally operating as a tendency of the Workers' Party, they briefly rejoined the Socialist Workers' Party before leaving the Trotskyist left entirely. The Johnson Forest tendency also characterized the USSR as state capitalist. She wrote for the Johnson Forest Tendency under the party pseudonym Rhea Stone. She married African-American auto worker and political activist James Boggs in 1953. That same year moved to Detroit, where they continued to focus on civil rights and black power movement activism. As scholar Brian Doucet articulates in his interview conducted with Boggs in 2014, "...living in Detroit influenced the Boggs thinking on the role of automation, capital flight, and racism." Boggs helped found the Detroit Asian Political Alliance in 1970, when C. L. R. James and Raya Dunayevskaya split in the mid-1950s into correspondence publishing committee led by James and News and Letters led by Dunayevskaya. Grace and James supported correspondence publishing committee that James tried to advise while in exile in Britain. In 1962 the Boggses broke with James and continued correspondence publishing committee along with Lyman Payne and Freddie Payne, while James's supporters, such as Martin Glaberman, continued on as a new if short-lived organization, facing reality. The ideas that formed the basis for the 1962 split can be seen as reflected in James Boggs's book, The American Revolution, pages from a black worker's notebook. Grace unsuccessfully attempted to convince Malcolm X to run for the United States Senate in 1964. In these years, Boggs wrote a number of books, including Revolution and Evolution in the 20th Century with her husband and focused on community activism in Detroit where she became a widely known activist. 
In the introduction to an extensive interview, scholar Karen Aguilar San Juan describes one aspect of Boggs' activism, although she believes that racial and gender inequality will always demand struggle, Grace remains adamant that civil rights-based activism will not lead to the far-reaching changes in society that a higher state of human evolution requires. She goes on to explain that Boggs' political path has been guided by her study of global and historical change, hand in hand with daily participation in and observation of the struggles of people at the grassroots level. In this interview, Boggs discusses her relationship to her Asian American heritage, her experience with the Black Power movement, and many other topics. She founded Detroit Summer, a multicultural intergenerational youth program, in 1992 and was the recipient of numerous awards. Additionally, Boggs' home in Detroit also serves as headquarters for the Boggs Center to Nurture Community Leadership. The Boggs Center was founded in the early 1990s by friends of Grace Lee and James Boggs and continues to be a hub for community-based projects, grassroots organizing, and social activism both locally and nationally. Her autobiography, Living for Change, was published in 1998. As late as 2005, she continued to write a column for the Michigan Citizen newspaper, and her book The Next American Revolution, Sustainable Activism for the 21st Century was published in 2011. Her life is the subject of the documentary film American Revolutionary, The Evolution of Grace Lee Boggs 2013, produced and directed by the American filmmaker Grace Lee. In 2014, the social justice hub at the New School's newly opened University Center was named the Baldwin Rivera Boggs Center after activists James Baldwin, Sylvia Rivera, and Grace Lee Boggs. She participated in the Conference on Activism, Ethnic Studies, Diaspora and Beyond held at Northwestern University in 2005, which was later reprinted in CR, New Centennial Review. Her speech, On Revolution, A Conversation Between Grace Lee Boggs and Angela Davis, held on March 2, 2012 at the Poly Ballroom, University of California, was excerpted in the journal Race, Poverty and the Environment. After turning 100 in June 2015, Boggs died on October 5, 2015. The dual biography in Love and Struggle, The Revolutionary Lives of James and Grace Lee Boggs, by Stephen M. Ward, was published in 2016. Topic bibliography George Herbert Mead, Philosopher of the Social Individual New York, King's Crown Press, 1945. The Invading Socialist Society with CLR. James and Raya Dunayevskaya, 1947 State Capitalism and World Revolution with CLR James and Raya Dunayevskaya, 1950. Facing Reality with CLR James and Cornelius Castoriadis, Detroit, Correspondence, 1958. Revolution and Evolution in the Twentieth Century, with James Boggs, New York, Monthly Review Press, 1974. Women and the Movement to Build a New America Detroit, National Organization for an American Revolution, 1977. Conversations in Maine, Exploring Our Nation's Future with James Boggs, Freddie Payne and Lyman Payne, Boston, South End Press, 1978. Living for Change, an Autobiography Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, 1998. The Next American Revolution, Sustainable Activism for the 21st Century with Scott Kurishij, Los Angeles, University of California Press, 2011. Topic see also History of the Chinese Americans in Metro Detroit Topic References Topic Further reading PBS Profile, Detroit Revolutionary Grace Lee Boggs, 98, Deadline Detroit Media, June 30, 2014. Paul Boole, An Asian American Tale, Monthly Review, January 1999, pp. 47-50. Grace Lee Boggs, Living for Change, an Autobiography Minneapolis, University of Minnesota Press, 1998. Martin Glaberman, The Revolutionary Optimist, Remembering C.L.R. James, Against the Current No. 72 January, February 1998 N.F. Living for Change, Red and Black Notes, No. 7, Winter 1999. Kaffer, Nancy. Grace Lee Boggs, Detroit Activist, Dies at Age 100 Archive. Detroit Free Press, October 5, 2015. Ward, Stephen M. In Love and Struggle, The Revolutionary Lives of James and Grace Lee Boggs Justice, Power, and Politics, The University of North Carolina Press, 2016. ISBN 978-0807835203. 
Topic external links The Boggs Center homepage The Grace Lee Boggs Archive Grace Lee Boggs on IMDb The James and Grace Lee Boggs Papers, archival collection at the Walter P. Ruther Library Obituary by Christian Hogsbjerg in Socialist Review, 407 November 2015. Obituary on the World Socialist website.